Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. Um, just being able to know that our family base is really growing and the community is just so beautiful to me. I truly appreciate you and I love you from the bottom of my heart. So with that being said, much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback and content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is being very informative to you and gives you good vibes please go ahead and share with your loved ones family or friends or even your fellow empaths that are going through really hard times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their sole purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorite wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support is so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um my video meditation background music is called recharge your mind cleanse your thoughts asmr 3d binary brain stimulation sound sounds sounds and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 Hayokas, the shift, the shifts, and the soul renewal has heightened, uh, has gifts heightened. I was like, wonder about you. It's just like we've been going through major shifts for the last few days, and you know, it might make you feel kind of off, or you might be hyped up for some reason, and you know, emotional in the next. Like all this morning, I woke up and I felt so blessed. I don't know what was going on or whatever. But it was like going outside, seeing all the animals, you know, hearing everything that's going on around me. Everything felt heightened to me. And then it's just like I'm watching different YouTube videos and, you know, seeing people meet their like celebrity idol and stuff like that. It just had me so emotional just to be able to see smiles on people's faces. It's like it was me, you know, there with them like, oh, my God, you know, I was just so happy for them. And it's just like seeing everybody's uh comments that people been posting along the videos has really had me emotional because it's like you know i'm glad i can be able to touch somebody's life being able to help them you know in a world full of crazy chaos and confusion and it, it can really get to you you know when you're going through a lot of things and you're trying to already heal and you know you're dealing with spiritual awakenings and it's just like these shifts these upgrades these downloads this and this and that has you excited one minute and drain the next like you know you're running around like a chicken with his head cut off and it's like the people that i talk like one-on-one -on -one with and i'm just like why are you running around like this and you know this person is and they're like rosalyn stop you know what are you doing you know i'm like what and they're like are you i mean can you see me i'm just like i can see the spirit you and it's just like everything is heightened to me it's like if i watch the movie um if anybody ever seen the movie wolf or um yeah, Wolf with Michelle Pfeiffer and Jack Nicholson. I love that movie because it was, you know, that's one of one of one of my two, basically my two OG actors that you know that has been playing movies. I'm a really big movie buff, and you know, I grew up watching things with Michelle Pfeiffer like Scarface and stuff like that. I'm like Athena, Athena, that's okay. You know, we doing stuff like that. But you know, and it's just like I love being able to feel everybody's love. You know, we go through so much. You know, and I feel like everybody should have that chance to be happy being able to know that you can see that light at the end of the tunnel being able to see the silver lining in the sky because we've been in so many dark places for so long i feel like everybody deserves that upgrade it's just like the universe is pushing us on to that new life you know we worn out from the old one we had going on like who the hell wants to stay in that one where you were sad, depressed, you know, just feeling drained, feeling like the world was against you, feeling like, you know, the universe and God is like, got you on mute. You know, who wants to feel that way? So it's just like when I'm able to talk to people and, you know, let them know, hey, I'm here. You know, even if you don't want to sit up here and post a, you know, a comment, I always tell people, you know, if you got 
messenger off of facebook you don't have to actually join facebook you know but it's, it's a good thing where they can allow you to just to do the messenger part i said message me you know long as it's not like really mad early in the morning you know only if it's a you know absolute emergency you know now it's just like i'm not going to be blocking people I'm going to just not do that because I see there's a lot of people that have different time zones as well as, you know, they might be working at night and can't be able to text me at night. But I'll guarantee you I'll get to you the next day. So if I don't text you, if I don't text you back right away and it's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you have to understand, respect my sleep time. You know, I just have to put my phone on silent and it's just like not that I'm ignoring you, but that's my me time. That's my, gap, my me time because I go to sleep. You know, at crazy times, and it's just like with the shift that's been going on lately. I've been staying up at like two, three o'clock in the morning, like just laying there, just like it would be lovely, lovely to just go to sleep right now because it's like everything's amped up. But it's just like if my, you know, my energy is crazy, and you text me, I might not text you back. Don't think I'm ignoring you, but it's just like if I got weird vibes like that, I'm not trying to share that with people because people are like too sensitive to me they were like Roz when I feel your vibes I'm like Ugh, that's why I told you not to be you know texting me this time so you know if you text me you know because it's like last you know last few months I've been getting very aggravated like if I tell you not to text me after you know 12 1 o'clock in the morning this and this and that you hit me up at like three four o'clock and you tell me some lame stuff I'm like dude <laughs> you about to get your ass blocked you know because I'm not going to be doing that like if I was married or something like that I definitely wouldn't be texting you that you know return text i'm just like okay you know there's gonna be certain times you can hit me up but if i don't respond i'll get you get back to you next day so you know disrespect that if i if you do hit me up at that time of night i'm just gonna make sure my phone is you know on silent so i don't disturb my sleep you know because sometimes i do go to sleep early sometimes it's like my my sleep is off but if like i said if i don't text you right away and it's like that mad early in the morning i hit you back up the next day so, but all these different things are going on, you know, if you felt that mighty shift, you're, you're probably one of the many that has been getting that soul renewal. It's like, we're getting hyped up, you know, then it's just like amped up. I was just dancing earlier and it's just, you know, cause I was trying to do these videos for the last like three hours, but it was like, I was just crying so much. Like I feel everything. I was telling my little sis, Hey, dear, I was like, uh, I was just like, I am like so emotional. Like I feel everybody's love. Like everybody needs to be happy and this and this and that. And I'm just getting overwhelmed. Like I can see people, you know, meeting people and, you know, getting so excited and I'm excited for them because I love to see people happy. And it's just like, what is going on? And it's just like, I had to think about it. It was like the shit the shift so I'm just seeing like a, a infinity sign like circle eight figure eight that's why I was seeing it so it's like everything's going you know it's just going in cycles but it's just like you're able to feel everything everything is like intensified I can feel the happiness I can feel the joy you know and I'm just like I love to feel love it's just everybody deserves that because we need to really be happy. So it's just like if you feel those urge where you're emotional but not sad emotional because I'm sitting up here talking to my dad in my head and I'm just like, Dad, I don't know what's wrong with me. And it's just like and he's, you know, he comes up and give me a big hug in my in my head. He's like, baby, I'm so proud of you, you know, because you're helping so many people. And that just made me, you know, burst out in tears because I always wanted my parents to be, you know, so proud of me and the things that I'm doing. So it's just like all the things that are just happening and, you know, I'm getting in touch with different, you know, family members, extended family members from YouTube. And I always tell people, hey, if you meet me on YouTube and you want to get in touch with me, you know, you feel uncomfortable about talking to things, you know, in front of people, which I do understand. I always tell people everything is confidential when you talk to me there. You don't ever have to worry about me bringing it up. I said, I can probably use your conversation. Like if I respond a certain way, I'm like, oh, that, that's good content. I'm going to let you know, hey, I'm using it as a content, but I'm not going to say what we talked about and who I talked about so it's just like things like that happen because there's you know recently I even told one of my other you know Facebook Facebook YouTube fam like hey you know this is a good one because it's like after I did a one-on-one -on -one or you know empath counseling I was just like you know what this is a good one you know because I always feel like when you live with you and you're I mean like I'm talking about live with you you're inside outside you know all your different sides of you and you're happy you know you shouldn't have to worry about if somebody's uncomfortable with seeing you happy bump them 
<laughs> you know, who would not want to see somebody happy? That means that they're miserable. You should live your life the way you choose to live it. If you are happy, you are pushing out love and light. Bump the rest of the people. You know, I, I've seen people where I can tell them, hey, you know, they haven't talked to me in months, maybe years. I'm like, I stopped smoking. I stopped drinking. This and this and that. And they're like, oh. I'm like, damn, anybody else, you know, they tell me their stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm so happy for you. And I'm not being fake happy with you. Because if I don't like you, I'm just say, oh, okay. What you telling me like this for? Because I don't care for you. And you know, I'm that, that I'm that type of person. I, I keep it real. And it's just like, because if I know you rub me the wrong way, it's not like I'm still holding a grudge against you, but I just really don't mesh with you like that. So it's just like, I ain't got time to be that, doing that fake stuff. But it's like, anytime somebody is doing something, and they're progressing in life and they're doing things they really you know they they got hurdled over big milestones you should be very happy for somebody because it took them a lot to do that because sometimes we can go through so much you be like bump this i give up i ain't got time but you know if it's something that you truly want in life and you truly are ready to achieve that do not give up on that please don't because you already know if it's going to be hard it's going to be worth it but it's going to be hard and you already know if it's too easy, there's always a catch to it. That means it's not going to last. I always tell people, you don't need the microwave dreams. You don't need them. Because you be ready to like, okay, why well, I got this right now. I have to understand. I have to push myself out. And I always also tell people, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors behind you. You know if you're working on your milestones. You're working on your positivity. Yes, we're all a work in progress. Sometimes we catch ourselves slipping. We might be a little judgmental. Or we might, you know, start popping off and talking about somebody. Hey, I've done it. You know, but I'm growing. You know, I'm just like, oh, okay, you're right. I won't do that. I'm like, sorry. You know, the old Rosalind came spritting out. So it's just like going through all those different things. You're a work in progress. Nobody's perfect. But as long as you're working on you and you're trying to head towards things that you truly want in life, no, it's not going to be easy. But don't think the universe and God is not sitting up here trying to put stuff together for you. Because you might be praying on one thing and you're like, God, I really want this. I really want that. You're like, okay, I really want a clothing line. God, I'm just trying to help. You know, I done sold this. You know, I'm trying to work on this and things are just not coming out right. But if they see the fact is you keep running into them brick walls and you keep trying, even though... You keep running through them brick walls. What makes you think you ain't going to get it? But it's going to be right when you least expect it. So be happy with what you got going on. And I, I mean, when I can wake up in the morning, even though I'm not where I want to be at, I'm, I, I tell God, hey, I'm grateful for the fact that you're allowing me to hear. You're allowing me to see. You're allowing me to spread love towards other people, words of encouragement towards other people, being able to just feel love all around me, you know, being able to hear, even though my mom and all of them have passed on, I can still hear them in my head. Those are gifts that I'm very appreciative about. You know what word I'm trying to say, but I'm just, you know, I'm very hyper. So if you see me like, uh, 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 this is the reason why I got all this stuff going on. And it's just like, it's a beautiful feeling, you know, like I, I meditated right before I started my video and I asked God, you know, universe, can you please give me that love, that uplifting energy to place upon me as I can project, project around everybody else. Y'all feel like I'm out of breath, but you know, the heart heart chakra is just going on right now, and I'm trying not to cry. But it's a beautiful blessing to be able to do that. You know, being able to see that my channel is growing. You know, there's a lot of people that are getting in touch with me. And, you know, I'm being able to help them out. And just seeing how much of, you know, a, a struggle they have really went through in life. And they can still be positive about things. I, you know, I, I commend you. You know, I commend you because it's just like... It's hard to be able to have that positive suit on when you have went through so much hell. But that lets you know that you are very special, regardless of what anybody tells you. You know, if you can still sit up here and try to, you know, smile at somebody, say good morning, even when they don't say good morning back. You know, you still don't don't ever sit up here like, ugh. Because I was like that before when I can hold a door for somebody and they don't even say thank you. Or if I can stop and let somebody go, they don't say thank you or wave their hand or whatever. I'm like, oh, next time I won't do that. No, I can't be that way because that shows me my character and also shows you, shows you theirs. You know, some people don't aren't grateful like that. But don't stop being kind because other people aren't kind to you. You know, God and the universe really pays attention to stuff like that. But I hope you're able to um, resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, please drop a line. But yeah, like I said, if you really 
you feel energetic, feel like that heart chakra is like, you know, and everything's sensitive to you. You feel like you're going to cry the drop of the hat, not just because you're sad or, you know, depressed or anything, but you're you're just able to feel everything. It's like my crown chakra, crown chakra is off the charts right now. My heart chakra is like open, like a gate wound. Like, okay, just gather everything up in here. I'm like, but all those things are going on for me right now. So y'all excuse me. But much love. Uh Sassy Miss K. Uh Mama Shark as well. And um Jabriat, much love to you. I haven't heard from you in a long time. And Hadia, much love to you, little sis. And I will talk to y'all later. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Um Give me a thumbs up and even share. And I'll speak, speak to you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Love you so much. Peace and be wild.